question from Gray Hat, who asked, what would happen if you plugged two identical batteries into a dual charger, but crossed the balance leads and set them to the same charger setting? It's a very interesting question. Almost certainly it wouldn't work, and here's why. One of the safety checks that the charger does before it starts charging the battery is it looks at the voltage on the balance lead and it looks at the voltage on the XT60. And if those voltages don't match up, it's like something ain't right here and it refuses to charge. And the chances that the voltage on the balance lead and the voltage on the, uh, on the uh, XT60 would be exactly the same. We, we could, can we do it? I bet we could do it. Hold on. This is worth doing. Hold on. Charger's powered up. Okay, first battery, 22 volts, second battery, 22 volts. Oh, wait, is that right? No, 17, 17. What the frick? That's not good, 17 volts. Okay, 22 volts. All right, so now we're gonna plug, we're gonna cross the streams and see what happens. This better not start a fire. I will be very disappointed if this starts a fire. Uh, it should really have a problem right now. So what we got is... 22 volts. Oh, no, come on. So we got 22 volts on the XT60. And we got 17 volts on the balance lead. You also if have we a then missing cell. Oh, that explains why it's 17 volts. Okay, this battery is fucked. Yeah, maybe it's gonna... a different battery. We're gonna unplug this battery and throw it in the trash. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> but it didn't start a fire, so that's good. Okay, let's try again. <clears throat> 22 volts versus 24 volts. Okay, so this battery is fully charged. This one is not. And it doesn't have a problem yet. But if I try and start a charge cycle, this is really... I'm, I'm putting a lot of faith in this charger. It's supposed to monitor the cells, though, right? It's supposed to yeah. check for balance on, on the 100%. legs. A hundred percent. There is no chance that it starts this charge cycle. If it does charge the charge cycle, the worst that'll happen no. is that this battery, instead of getting one amp, it'll yeah. get. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it at like a minimal. I'm gonna put it at the minimum. Yeah, I don't think you'll actually point, fry anything doing that, right? Yeah, instead of getting zero point one amps, it'll be at a higher. No, but it won't. Yeah, anyway, it is no chance that it starts the charge cycle. Ready? Ah, yeah. There you go. Current operation is not supported. That's a. I would have liked a more. You started battery two. Yeah, because you're seeing all the cells. So, yeah, you did start yeah, battery, battery two. Yeah, battery two. I started the right battery. It's going to just. Yeah. My understanding is it will do that as long as the yeah balance doesn't match the 5060. Yeah. yeah, no. Yeah, and then it'll ask, like, do you want to charge without balance? But if you have balance in, it should. Well, that's because I you. unplug the balance lead. No. Right. Do not. Now it's really confused. I've confused the shit out of it. Now it's charging because now everything is correct. I yeah. plugged the other balance lead in. Now everything is correct and it's charging. So there you go. Um, now Gray Hat asks the next logical question, which is, what if we managed to make it be? Identical voltages. Oh, whoops, wrong. There we go. What if we made it identical voltages? Would it try to charge it? I think it would, but very quickly the voltages would go out of sync, right? Because one of the batteries would start charging up and the other one would not, or they would not charge at the same rate. And as soon as the voltages went out of sync, the charger would be like, ah, no, something isn't right here. Might tell people not to actually throw dead lipos in the trash, says Killdozer. Why not? Killdozer, why shouldn't I throw dead, dead lipos in the trash? Tell me your logic there. I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm just asking you to tell me the logic. 